Welcome and all aboard for episode 11 of The Last Caboose. We're here on our way to Airdrie, riding the coal and iron freight train that we set up in the previous episode. I'm uh, hoping today that uh, this train will start to produce some pretty big profits for us and we can do some upgrading on uh, some of our truck lines as I believe we have a few new vehicles uh, unlocked and uh, I would also like to uh, upgrade Cochrane Freight Station. I uh, want to do this in anticipation for our major overhaul of the Calgary Freight Yards and uh, yeah I think that that will get us going for the day as we can see the uh, the map is starting to look a little bit more lively we still have random palm trees everywhere uh, in this uh, very very temperate uh, cold uh, climate so uh, again I would like to know why that is but uh, we'll get there anyway uh, shall we uh, hop off as we turn the corner into the steel mill and uh, see how much money this uh, train is actually going to make us so here we are we're looking pretty good as it comes on in and let's uh let's see right now if we take a peek at the finances we're be running at about 1.8 million dollars a year and the frequency is uh not all that often let's if i go over here to the line details let's check out our frequency one hour and three minutes um, that might change a little bit, but uh, that's not a very good frequency. So hopefully we get some faster trains, but yeah, let's check out how much this uh, train is actually going to make us on our inaugural run. Let's see. I hope I have the costs turned on and uh, whatnot. 11.5 million dollars oh my word and look at that the steel mill has started up puffing away getting its smoke out as we are taking delivery of our first set of uh, goods so now it is actually uh, producing steel we have nowhere to take that steel yet well we have plenty of places to take it but uh, that's not what I'm gonna work on today uh, let's see so I think now that we have all that money in our bank let's take a peek at all of these lines here we've got Calgary food delivery Okotoks food delivery let's start with the Calgary grain haulage and uh, what I want to do here is I think we're gonna manage the line and we're gonna upgrade do these take grain yes they do we're gonna upgrade them to the steam flatbed truck uh, our old um, carriages were traveling at 20 kilometers an hour and could carry a capacity of five these go five kilometers an hour faster and carry one more so I think we're gonna just replace all of them straight up and now let's see about the Okotoks food delivery because that's gonna be running along the same line so we don't want that to jam up so let's uh, Okotoks food delivery let's manage the vehicles and let's upgrade these ones as well now do these take food they don't so let's grab the tarpaulin truck and replace those and let's see we've got the food delivery for Calgary we can upgrade those with the tarpaulin trucks and I think we'll go over to the Airdrie food delivery and do the same thing and pop all those in. Now I just realized, did I actually get all of the trucks or do we still have, yeah I thought so. I upgraded one but not all, so we'll get them all. There we go. Now we're going to be traveling a little bit faster, our line rates are going to be a little bit uh, bigger and uh, so yeah I think that that's a good upgrade for now uh, like I said we're gonna be adding a, a massive freight yard in here but in, in anticipation for that in anticipation for building up all the money uh, that we need to do that we're going to uh, definitely um, need to 
take out some bottlenecks in other places of our uh, our map so we're just gonna wait for this uh, second iron and uh, coal freight train to come in and uh, we're gonna probably pause the game I do have the game date paused right now uh, the reason for that is uh, we're about to get quite a few upgrades unlocked here in 1900 we get our new set of wagons and we'll get uh, we've already got new locos that we could be running but our wagon speeds are limiting them and uh, so what I'd like to do is uh, when that time comes be able to upgrade here pretty quickly and uh, for that to happen I would like our map to run a little bit more efficiently so we'll get this guy into the station and uh, let's pause it right after that we'll have about 20 million dollars hopefully to work with uh, depending on costs that come out here in a moment but yeah let's just uh, enjoy this guy coming around the corner um, I am thinking that uh, this yard track as as um, station track is maybe not the best idea but uh, I, it does make it more realistic for them to crawl into freight yards instead of just absolutely barrel on in. Um, I don't know. Answers in the comments uh, what you guys think is better. I, I think it's more realistic for them to crawl in, but certainly going to make uh, the, uh, the gameplay a little bit more difficult. So let's see if we get our $11.5 million in here. Yeah, we've got $21 million now in the bank and uh, I've hit pause and I think we're gonna take away that and we're gonna come in and see what the uh, state of play oh it looks like we've got to just clear out the Cochrane station here because uh, we're gonna do some pretty big changes here we're gonna take the sawmill we're gonna move it closer to the river we're gonna straighten our track through Cochrane which means the demise of many of the buildings in Cochrane unfortunately but uh, needs must, as they say. And uh, yeah, so we'll just get our, uh, our trains through here. We'll just put it on a quicker speed, try and get things out and, uh, and moving. And yeah, th so this is the kind of snarl up that I'm looking to avoid, is uh, them udging out and waiting and, and things like that. So we're gonna get these these two trains right to the edge of our map hopefully we don't have anything coming in from the east no not for a while so as soon as uh, the passenger train here leaves Cochrane we are going to be clear from trains for a little bit so at that point we're going to just put play on and we'll get that guy right across the bridge because I might end up stopping and let's pause it now this here, if we can see our our line takes so many dips and doodles and turns, um, I think eventually we're going to start straightening uh, portions of our line. Maybe not straightening it so we make huge cuttings or anything, but uh, taking this curve out, for, for example, just straightening this so it's a little bit more uh, palatable, a little bit faster track speed uh, as we get faster locos. But uh, the first thing we want to do here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, save the game and load up um, sandbox mode. So, all right, we're back. I've loaded up the, uh, the sandbox mode and I've loaded that up. I, I'm not going to mess around with my bank balances or anything like that, but I've loaded up so we're able to move this industry. So we're going to just start by deleting the two stations here. And uh, as we delete, of course, as always, we're going to be very, very uh, careful. Yeah. So this is definitely not going to like me here for a bit. So we're going to delete that entire logging industry. And I'm glad I did it now prior to it uh, upgrading. So here we go. We're going to just start deleting some of the track. And uh, when we we're gonna pretty much demolish most of this town um, but we are gonna leave enough now I found uh, in previous uh, gameplays that I've done 
is when you delete towns, you want to leave at least one industry building, one residential building, and one commerce building. Now, I don't know if this is a, a fact uh, or an actuality, but I have found that if you delete all of one type of building, it will lead to problems of it regrowing. Um, now, they may have fixed that in uh, subsequent patches, but uh, that has been my experience in the past. So just to be careful, I do not want to do that. And so what I think we're going to do is we're going to delete the road in to Cochrane here. Now, when you delete roads, the best idea is to come from one side to the other uh, instead of just deleting willy-nilly. Because uh, if you delete willy-nilly, uh, your vehicles don't have a place to go. And so they kind of get trapped. And so as you can see, I'm taking out a vast portion. See, there we go, we've trapped a vehicle. So no fear, if you become, if you've trapped a vehicle, just connect the road again and bada bing, bada boom. That vehicle gets pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. Now, we're gonna come through and we're gonna probably need this entire area deleted, this entire area, uh, that part, that part, and let's see if we can get away with that. So the first thing we wanna do is let's, uh, we're gonna delete this back ever so slightly to here, and we're gonna get our main line coming straight through town. And we're gonna make our main line nice and straight. Uh, I'd like to get it right about here. Yeah, right about there. If we can, I think that looks pretty good there. Or do I? Where is that gonna eventually take us? Yeah, see, that's gonna take us a little bit too close. So, no worries, we just kind of go back and we just kind of keep working with it. So maybe actually we should start by placing our industry and then uh, we can unload sandbox. Uh, um, we need our sawmill now, I think if we rotate this around we get it right up to the river and we're going to delete part of the uh, there we go there just so it doesn't terraform too greatly into the river and maybe we want to bring it up just a bit there we go just so that terraforming doesn't push into the river excellent and then we're going to delete that. And yeah, see, we've got that terraforming in the river. How many times do we want to delete this thing is the question. actually okay if we terraform just slightly into the river there I can so pretty much what I achieved was nothing maybe a little bit but not too much now let's see if we can get our line our main line through the uh, through the town here um, we want to kind of come as close as possible to that roadway. Yeah, exactly. Exactly like that. And then instead of going up, we want to make it nice and flat. And then from there, we can say pop in there. Excellent. Now we have our main line coming through most town here. 
and I'm just going to keep it going straight for just a little bit longer, nice and flat. And then I'm going to angle it out, keep it flat here, and we're going to come right on back in, a little bit of an S-curve just to get back into our bridge. Now our main line is in. Uh, let's place a couple of our buildings where we know we want to have them. Uh, this right here, we're going to want to have about 100 kilometers an hour, I think, coming off the siding. Oh, wait, we never do want to come off of that. We're going to we're gonna go to 80. I think 80 is fine because we are entering and exiting a, a station here. And then passenger terminal. Let's uh, oh, passenger terminal here. And get him in. And uh, again, seventy-one. Well, it's right before the turn, so we're gonna go with that. So perfect. We've got our passenger terminal in. Don't forget to put in our signature double flip switch. Now a lot of people don't like using these because of the uh, the amount it slows down your train traffic, but I'm absolutely perfectly fine with using them. So now we have a nice straight stretch of uh, line coming through here, and I think our first line that we want to add is uh, we're going to get our yard tracks out, and we're going to add just a little small drop off station right here. And we're going to take that back just a little bit, uh, give it a good run out onto the main line, and uh, we'll make that nice and quick track. And we'll probably end up upgrading some of this track here, right until about there. And uh, I think we can put a little bit of a platform in right beside it, go to the end, and think until about here. All we're looking to do here is uh, quite simply make, um, ah, see look at how awful that looks. We're gonna have to do some terraforming there. So let's, uh, let's do that right now. But all we're looking to do is having a drop-off point for our tools and uh, I think that, oh there we go. I was going to say, sometimes this game just makes a complete muckery of terraforming. Uh, most of the time, I feel it's quite good, but uh, as I said, sometimes it's not the best. So what we're going to do is we're just going to terraform out here, smooth out anything, kind of uh, have a nice little raised platform, make everything about the same height. Uh, it's expensive, but it's kind of the pre-work you want to do and uh, we're just gonna kinda come down because we're gonna have another entrance here on the other side and uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to add another um, a set of tracks another yard track and we're gonna have that to about the same spot we might even continue that on just a little bit uh, and we're going to have quite a big yard here maybe to about there and then we're going to have a five meter platform so we'll just pop that in there and uh, I apologize that you guys are going to watch me build quite a few freight yards the one in Calgary, I've been sandboxing it here for a couple of days now, and it uh, it works fantastically, looks great, but uh, it is quite the uh, quite the epic build, and uh, it is a lot of just adding this, adding that. So, and now I think we're going to we're going to extend this line fairly far because this is going to be a plank train line our plank uh, line here and so what we're gonna do here is see we're gonna actually try and straighten a piece of this track 
because we're uh, eh, actually we can straighten it later I think too much at once is never a good idea so let's uh, let's get ourselves on the main line here pretty nippy and there we go and we're going to we're just gonna speed this all the way up to our uh, to our platforms themselves like I said I'm still not entirely sure uh, if this is the route I want to take but uh, I think for now why not and then I'm going to add a double track oh no I'm gonna need a platform so we're gonna do a platform here same thing get that all the way to the end and let's see if we can match these two ends this is the kind of the, the most difficult part of this uh, mod sometimes it goes too far not far enough uh, I find sometimes if you just simply delete it and if you come back see where it wants to snap to there we go you just be patient with it and keep working it and it will eventually do what you want it to do now I think we could probably do a, a double platform here I think that that's perfectly fine and then we're gonna do two tracks in here one two and hopefully we've got enough room for that last platform that I plan to put in see that now that guy again same thing so if we take that piece and that piece off let's see if I can't get that in now see always gonna be too far so you know it's just a matter of if you are wanting to be very very precise about it you just gotta get right down there and be patient with it and then if we can get that to the end that would be fantastic perfect And see, if you do this now, it'll make um, editing the station later so much easier. Yeah, perfect. If we can get that guy in, and then we're going to just extend this track out to here. Uh, there we go. So now we have a drop-off station, a plank pickup, and then we've got two log haulage and uh, one that could share for the uh, the log freight and one that uh, could um, double and oh, we've got log log and then we can deliver construction materials as well so this one here is for that side so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and move it fairly far up here I want it to go out past the, uh, the place where the, um, the passenger train is going to uh, join on. I think that's a little far, so let's go to here and let's see what kind of speeds that gives us. 110, 111, and then 65. So we'll be leaving the main line at 65 kilometers an hour for freight access uh, I think I can live with that what I really like to do is uh, double this up to be honest with you and so what I think we're gonna do is we're just gonna add a second track here and we're going to do a double one right in let's see what that kind of speed is Again, leaving leaving at 65. I don't think we're going to get away from that. It's just the way it is. But I think that is perfect. We'll be able to enter and leave the main line. And then now uh, we're going to take this piece of track here. Move it. I think if we come down here with this piece. Make it nice and flat. And... If we can curve it in here that gives us enough room for a crossover 
absolutely. And we'll take this piece of track here. We'll bring it out a little bit and we'll cross it in right. Yeah, we'll make that just as smooth as possible and make it look fairly good in there. And then we can uh, just do some siding work in here. I think what we want to do first here is quite possibly flatten out that piece of land just to make it look a little bit more realistic. And what we're going to do is make sure that that's connected. And we're just going to have some siding some sidings in here nice and flat we'll have just a little bit of freight siding here maybe park up some unused uh, wagons have a few engines under steam ready to go and uh, things of the sort so I think we can go there There. I think that'll add exactly what we're looking for there. And uh, hopefully we can get a road across here at some point. I know that these switches are going to be a barrier. So maybe we'll bring that guy back and this guy back a bit. And we'll get that road in first. So let's get a road in right across all of this. Yeah, I like that. And that just will allow us some access to uh, the, uh, the front part of Cochrane here. The like riverfront as, as you will. So, uh, let's see if we can just start rebuilding some of the roads in this town. Uh, if we pop that in, but let's stay flat. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, I do not like what it's doing there. Oh, and that is what is preventing us, is it's that, uh, that crossover there with the double slip switch. Hmm, I bet you if we push that even further up, we'll be more than good. So let's push that right up against the, uh, the front of uh, the train station there, perfect. I think we can accept that. Uh, and if we take this road along again, if we can keep it flat, all the better. We're, uh, we're doing a major redraw of Cochrane right now. Hopefully that doesn't look too too bad no it doesn't actually I'm, I'm okay with that so we're gonna have to delete this road here and that road there we've pretty much lost all of Cochrane and we've trapped a vehicle up there as well but we'll rescue that vehicle here in a bit so I think that there we go now if we can get those um, tracks back in this track most likely will be able to split off here as such and I think we can take this track here and uh, just run it right up to the platform I think that, that would be uh, that's running into the platform yeah sure we'll use the platform as an M marker for it and uh, we could even just bring it into here and then we can do a bit of a crossover here nothing too quick and uh, then we can bring something up and down another little crossover there excellent so now we can do some turning some switching 
I think that's perfect. Exactly what we're looking for here. And uh, now we need to get a bit of a road over on this side. Ooh, not the right thing. Not a road. There we go. Now here, I think we're going to use just a bit of our industrial road. Small country road will do for now. And uh, we're just going to do the exact same thing that we did last time. Right at the end of uh, our track here. Pop this in here. And if we can... I would like to have this, well, I think we should probably create our uh, station first so we can see exactly what we're doing. Let's see, I'm kind of going a little crooked here, so let's get all the right parts in first and uh, let's create our, put our waypoints in, get our tracks all set up. Now, how big are these? 250 meters we could make them a little longer uh, for our logging trains um, I'm tempted to right now I really am our plank train also could be a little bit longer you know what I'm gonna live with 250 meters <clears throat> I'm okay with it we can always give it a little... <coughs> Ooh, don't know what's happened to my voice there. Yeah, we're going to... I was thinking about giving a little bit of uh, flyover room there, but I think uh, the marker is not connected to a twin. Well, fine then. We must have a broken piece of track here well you know what sometimes you just gotta try again let's see if we put that guy in there and that one in there yeah who knows who knows when it first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. That's what these, uh, yeah, go there. Okay. For some reason, it is not liking me going in that direction. So we'll just try this direction. There we go. And we'll put this one in here join that and the more uh, platforms you add the longer it takes them to join uh, the stations it gets uh, pretty pretty tedious um, I believe one of the uh, builds I did for Calgary uh, I made upwards of 17 different platforms and by the end it was about three minute load time for every single join uh, that could just be my uh, my uh, my own PC, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I do not know. I really hope that uh, the mods aren't getting a little bit um, fi finicky on me here. Whew. I am starting to get worried. I really don't want to crash. That's for sure. And if we get this last one in that would be fabulous and there we go oh excellent yeah so yeah I, I put in about 17 and it took uh, about three minutes to join the la very last uh, platform and it took about five minutes just to place this building just because there were so many construction nodes uh, it was absolutely insane so there we go we've got our little uh, freight access yard here in and what I'm gonna do is I think uh, if we just go ahead and we're going to put um, yeah for now 
just a nice straight piece of road. We're going to get it curved and we're going to go up the hill and we'll smooth that out so it looks a little better. And then we're going to go straight and from about here we're just going to come straight down and into a bit of a truck uh, depot here. I think this truck depot I if we can get it on that kind of angle really what I want to do is get it as such and have it uh, quite a bit bigger quite a bit longer but I think we can delete that back there and we can pop this guy in here wrong one and if we put two platforms yes I think if we can get that right in there maybe even go for three platforms just so oh, zero three there we go. Just so we can get some connection. That would be fantastic. Yeah, let's go to about there. And let's see how big we can get these. First of all, let's make sure we can connect it. Um, there we go. Perfect. We've got connection into our odd looking uh, truck platform and if we can just increase these to no end yeah I can uh, I can live with some of that terraforming into the river no problem maybe not quite that much take that back just a bit we do want to have some space but uh, I think we can hide that with uh, some rocks with some other assets we'll find a nice nifty way to hide that um, we'll also just bring out the uh, the land when we're assured that our money is going to be uh, adequate and then uh, we just bring that into there and we go ahead and we start rebuilding this town. So let's get our streets. And uh, at this point, we could do one of two things. Is we can leave this and uh, are we hoping that we're connected here? Do we have a connection? No, we do not. But that's okay. We don't need a connection there per se. Uh, let's see if we can add just one more. That might provide our connection. There we go. And that's exactly what it is. It's, it's just providing a connection. That fourth platform looks a little strange, but uh, you know what? It provides the connection to the, uh, the sawmill, so I'm okay with that. Now we're going to have this road here, and it's going to come across and then I think we're gonna angle it and uh, we want it to keep fairly straight because what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross the Bow River here so if we can get that fairly good looking there turn on our zero height bridge and pop that across the Bow River but uh, go up a bit excellent Excellent, and now we're in there and turn our zero height bridge off. And I think that that adds a nice little little um, takeaway. Then what I want to do is I just want to make it a little easier for them to, to choose what they're going to do. Uh, choose being the operative word. Uh, I'm just going to provide them with a little bit of a path here uh, to build around. Uh, what they will do is they will build and it will terraform into the river 
so I might lock some of these part, uh, some of these, but uh, we'll see what they decide to do here. I'm going to give them a cul-de-sac essentially down there, and uh, yeah, if we don't like what they're doing, we can always uh, change their minds uh, by deleting and locking the road. But let's, uh, because we've gotten rid of so much of this town, let's uh, leave it for now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a $103,000 escape route for this poor cart that's got stuck up there. And then we've got this, and I want to make this main road here all the way through town. Uh, if we can get that continued to be on straight. No matter how straight I'm going to get that, it's always going to curve, isn't it? Yeah. So just live with it. Learn to live with it. Caboose, and you'll be fine. Well, we might as well put it on curvy. And then we'll have a nice curved main road through here. And uh, I think we need a, a nice spot for our buses to have terminus uh, one on either side would be great and let's see if we can get that flipped around yeah we can I just don't want to lose too many more of my tool factories here have I lost all of my industry no I got some of my industry and I have do I have any residents left Yes, I do. I've got all three of the things that are vitally important to keep a town running. I think that that would be a very odd but interesting thing to do. Um, and it will serve well. Ooh. You know, I'm just not entirely sure. Maybe we go like this. And we pop this in here. And we make this a complete pass through. Uh, let's see, can we get you to go down? No. So it's going to be a bit of a. How bad is that? trying to find the right keys here there we go you know it's not horrible it's not great but I'm willing to live with it so that's what we'll do we're just gonna add one passenger there we go and some street access out the back and if we can delete that back just a little bit now you can see that I'm being quite, um, quite, I, I don't know, for lack of a better word, OCD with this. And that's simply because I just want to come here once and not have to repair this town again and again and again and again. So I think what we've done here is a pretty good job. We've got a road leading up, a road leading through. We've got some waterfront access. We'll see how they build on the waterfront. We may need to lock it. Uh, I wish you could lock just one side. And uh, the only thing I think remaining here is to signal, obviously, and uh, get a track heading up. Yeah, I think a track heading up to the uh, log, the forest there. There we go. If we can just pop that out there and get that in the same spot. And then we're going to start curving away with it. And same thing here. And then we're going to take the outside line. And we're just going to start 
working our way up. Ever so every so often just touching this road as we come up straighten out a lot of the flats here and I think let's take it to there and let's get our freight terminus station in just one track now this is going to be a, a bit of a commuter line, a commuter line, sorry, a shunting line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get it dug down a little bit and uh, angled in the direction that I think is the most appropriate for us, which is there. And now I've dug it down just a little bit, uh, and you'll see why here in a few seconds. This is just uh, kind of reduces the grade uh, that we'll have to travel so I think I'm just gonna smooth that out because it's just gonna bother me if I don't do anything about it yeah see we're still coming out and uh, so I, I wanted to just play a happy medium of coming out on an embankment and coming out on um, in a cutting so I think that that will work perfectly we're going to Come on down here and just bring this in at 100 kilometers an hour. I think that's perfectly fine. And let's uh, let's see where we need to upgrade some tracks. So I think here to here, if we could get this whole piece of track upgraded to there. And again, same thing. Anything that our freight trains are going to be traveling on for a significant distance of uh, time all the way up to the um, the, uh, the station itself is just perfect excellent I think that, that works out perfectly uh, I'm wondering if I could come in here and delete some of the so you can't actually delete any of the uh, the tracking once the station is set so just be forewarned of that so we're gonna instead of Cochrane halt we're going to call this Cochrane freight yard oh. if I can find my keys hey, yark Cochrane Freight Yark. Perfect. And we'll call this not 15th Street, but the Cochrane Exchange. There we go. And now let's start sorting out our lines. So we've got our Cochrane Station loop, and this is not going to make any sense here anymore. And I think just to help our loop, quote unquote, I'm doing air quotes, you guys can't see them. We're just going to completely loop that, and we're going to make the world's smallest loop. I'm only, I mean obviously, it doesn't make much sense for them to be a full-on bus route bus route here anymore but uh, we'll maintain it for now uh, having a bus stop on a hill like that you can see how floaty the uh, the transit stations get as you go up and down hills and just to try and give you an example so I always like to put them at the base of large hills just like that and uh, so let's take this let's manage our line and we're just going to delete the entire distance and we're just going to go from here to here all the way down there we go now we're Bow Valley line let's manage it. not the vehicles we're going to manage our line lower Cochrane doesn't exist anymore and lower Cochrane. So after Calgary Central, 
we want to stop at Lower Cochrane, our Cochrane sidings now, and after Canmore, we're going to stop there. Excellent. Now Calgary Plank Freight, manage the line. <coughs> Cochrane sidings, we're going to come into here. And I'm thinking, well, we probably don't have a double slip switch in. Well, it's going to be two. Absolutely. Uh, we're just going to come back in and we're going to add our double slip switch there. And um, let's see. We got our cock and tool delivery. Let's manage the line. Let's put that on 4th Street, Cochrane Freight Yard, tool delivery, ah, so we're, we've got this, we're going to go from here to here, there we go, now, Calgary Plank Freight, Plank Freight, we still are having issues, what seems to be our issue? There we go. Just needed to find the right place to put it. Cochrane Tool Freight. Manage the line. Cochrane Sidings needs to go. We're going to put it at the yard. And it goes to five, which is exactly where I want it. And Ken Askus Log Freight. We're going to go take that station out, put this one in. And I'm going to put you on two. And I see we need our diamond, which is why I left that here. Let us put that diamond in. Take the upgrade tool off. Just need to have a bit of a crossover right here. And I think we can do that in the form of diamond. Should take care of that. And this one here. I think if we hit play, all sins should be forgiven, uh, with the exception of this. So I want to do the cock and log haulage. I'm going to manage all my vehicles. And I'm going to sell. All of them and I'm going to create a brand new line I'm gonna come from here the Cochrane freight yard up to our Cochrane sidings and if I go to terminal one how are you not connected Oh, quite possibly because well, I'm not entirely sure why you're having such issues here. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Well. We're going to go from a Cochrane Freight Yard. I guess we're going to add some signals. And same standard thing that we, uh, we typically do, which is grab our two-way signals on our way out. deleting these things there we go yeah we're gonna just pop these guys in and we're gonna grab some one-way signals protecting some junctions up here
We're going to use, utilize that signal there as a clearing signal. This is our first signal there. And again, come in. We're going to protect this junction here. Come on. I love the look of these signals, but they are so tough to grab. There we go. I want to make sure that I trigger that prior to go and then we're going to signal that and we're going to signal that there I think we are f signaled up for the most part here other than this uh, which we're going to signal one way going in there and this line two, let's manage this line. So after the Cochrane Freight Yard, I would like to manage the line at the station. Can I get to that signal? Can I find that signal to get to you? You gotta get that one like seems to be that one part of the ladder oh it's frustrating yes can i get to here i wonder if it's a piece of missing track up here doesn't seem to be oh there it is there it is you know the amount of times I've been foiled by those tiny little pieces of missing track unbelievable okay let's get our line manager in here and let's take out these two signals let's just make sure it's doing exactly what we want it to be doing which it is excellent and we're gonna color that. And we're going to call this, oh, we're gonna call this Cochrane. Uh, tool delivery. Excellent. And we're gonna call line two here. We're gonna call this Cochrane log freight there we go and we're still left with 12 million dollars in the bank uh, so that is healthy and happy news um, I think we can hit play we can safely hit play now um, we're gonna stop and start this one and we've got no problems with that train at all and we're gonna go down here and we're going to purchase um, a Baldwin class. And we're going to grab some wagons. Let's see, we want some flat cars with side stakes and we want it to be 169 meters long. I mean, it can hang out as much, but 105 is more than decent frequency. We'll go to all, we'll get our caboose on, we'll purchase that, and we're gonna put it on our Cochrane Log Freight. There we go. And that'll start making its way up there uh, to the new station. And now this station should function quite a bit better 
Um, I think uh, we've made some pretty massive improvements. Uh, maybe on the next one we'll detail up the station. But uh, yeah, I think uh, that's exactly what we're looking to do. Here we go. We've got our Canmore Tool Freight coming back through. We can uh, take a peek as that comes on through. Uh, but why don't we hop on this uh, log freight and uh, pop into our new station. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the build today. Uh, it was kind of rather buildy, but uh, on our next one, I think we're going to work on some detailing and getting prepared uh, to rebuild Calgary in its entirety. And once we've got that in, we can really start upgrading and really start making this map come alive. So, uh, as you can see, we're running empty right now, and that's probably just because of uh, the um, the tool or the uh, the sidings being deleted. But hopefully, on the next episode, we'll see quite a bit more cargo. So, I hope you had a great time. Have a great morning, afternoon, evening, and night. Bye bye.